On July 17, 2024, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs officially launched Vector Awareness Week 2024 under the theme Educate, Empower, Eradicate. The launch event took place in the community of Ancillary and was attended by officials from the Ministry of Health along with local community members. The opening ceremony was a significant event marking the beginning of a week-long series of activities aimed at raising awareness about vectors and vector-borne diseases. The ministry's initiative seeks to educate the public, empower communities, and ultimately eradicate the threats posed by these diseases. In her address, Jenny Daniel, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Health, highlighted the severe impacts that vectors have on daily life. She stressed the importance of increased awareness and information dissemination to combat the issues effectively. The need for heightened awareness and concerted action has never been more urgent. Vectors Awareness Week is not just a campaign. It is a call to action. It is a reminder of our collective responsibility to protect ourselves, our families, and our communities from vector-borne diseases. This campaign, we will focus on educating and empowering every individual with the knowledge and tools to combat these threats effectively. Throughout this campaign, we have planned a series of activities, including environment educational sessions, working with school, householders, corporate St. Lucia, and the community to roll out vector control prevention activities. These initiatives aim to raise awareness about the importance of preventing vector breeding sites, promoting the use of protective measures, and encouraging early detection and treatment of vector-borne diseases. According to Chief Environmental Health Officer Parker Ragunanan, as of April 30th, 2024, the Americas have recorded a staggering 7.6 million cases of dengue fever. Last year, 2023, there was only 3.4 million cases of dengue fever recorded. However, for the first five months of this year, they have almost doubled that number. It tells us that whereas uh, in the past five years uh, we've seen uh, incremental increase in uh, uh, dengue fever cases worldwide, uh, it is greater uh, within the Americas. The increase is exponential. And I want to tell you that St. Lucia finds itself uh, among the region of the Americas. The Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Honorable Moses Jabaptis, emphasized that community collaboration is crucial for detecting increases in mosquito populations, identifying unusual behavior and addressing these threats promptly. Community collaboration is very critical because it enables us to detect increases in mosquito populations, unusual mosquito behavior and to respond to mosquito-borne threats very early. Secondly, it's important to involve the community because it causes all of us to take proactive measures to re reduce the breeding grounds of mosquitoes. Simple activities like water in flower pots, in our gutters, discarded tires, all of those things can cause serious problems and we can come together as a community to deal with it. Education is very important. It's very important and effective in mosquito control efforts. And it's important for us to continue with community workshops, educational campaigns, outreach programs to ensure that everyone in our community is well equipped. Vector Awareness Week is a pivotal campaign in the fight against vector-borne diseases. Through education, empowerment, and community involvement, the Ministry of Health aims to significantly reduce the impact of these diseases on the population. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs, I am Unika McCoy.